Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sadia. This channel is beauty in all places. And that's me because we strive to have beauty in all corners of who we are as complete conscious beings. So there you have it. I would love if you guys like, comment, and subscribe to this video. It really helps me out a lot and really I'm trying to get to 2K subscribers. Let's get this channel monetized. Let's get this channel reaching lots of people. Okay, let me, let me like, get my singing voice on because um, I would love my channel to get to people. I mean, I create so much content all the time. Come on, like help a girl out, please. I would appreciate it so much. Today's video is going to be all about movies because if you don't already know, I'm a singer, songwriter, actress of people. Okay, that was my old lady singing voice. Um, the church going old lady who um, sings in that high pitch. Voice. Okay, yeah, so today is going to be about my most watched, my favorite binge-worthy movies of 2021. And I'm telling you, if you have not seen these movies, you're missing out on life. These movies can teach you a lot about life if you're thinking like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Maybe these movies will enlighten you a little bit, lift you up, lift up your spirit, and let you know, you know what? Nobody's perfect, it's okay, I don't need to figure out everything, I don't need to know everything all at once, it's okay, I'm okay, I'm not perfect and that's okay, let's strive for perfection, but if we don't like get there, it's, it's fine. Right off the bat, I'm gonna start with my most favorite and I'm gonna end with m the best. Catastrophe, it is a series on Amazon Prime, oh my gosh. The story is based on the main characters, Rob and Sharon, an uh, English school teacher who has like this week long stand with this American like exec type guy. After a few weeks or so, she's pregnant. She calls this guy to tell him he flies all the way over to England to see her and involve himself in her life and the whole process of the pregnancy until they get married and they have a family. L let me tell you why I like this. It's very adult. It's very mature. It's not one of these like pretty like, oh my gosh, everything is so filtered. We have to keep up this beautiful image. This is one of the reasons why I really love particularly British sitcoms because their sense of humor and just the way that they capture things and just their filtration system on screen is not like America's. The narrative have to fit into this like box. And in comparison to British sitcoms and just British comedy in general, there is no set narrative that has to like fit in a box. Like there's a story and whatever can be said on screen. And that's one of the things that I love about it. It's just very plain and funny and quirky and witty and dry and just like real life. It feels like this is someone's real life that was adapted into the show and it's very refreshing and it's very adult and it's very grown and it, it just feels like real people. Just watch it and you'll see like it's just so good. Just how their relationship evolved is just so much Modern. There's no huge romantic story, but they respect each other and they love each other and they have this partnership where they're so transparent. The fighting can be messy sometimes, but it's it's brilliant. It's brilliantly written. It's brilliantly casted. I absolutely positively love this and I feel like anybody who likes this kind of comedy would enjoy this. So far they have like four seasons. I'm not sure when the other season is coming out, but there's different couples in the series and it shows like a spectrum of relationships and how they look in modern society from these older grown folks and just how marriage and relationships are different with different kinds of people and it just has this very refreshing take on relationship and comedy and family and I just love it for these reasons. So let's move on to the other film. I, the Marvelous Mistress Measles. I don't know where you've been, honey, but I'm telling you, this, this show is for all the women who just want that feel good woman empowerment, woman 
taking on the world, a woman following her dreams. It's a 1950s set in New York. This Jewish girl is fighting to become this like well-known comedian after her marriage fails. It's amazing. Her sense of humor is very smart and quick and she's very quirky and funny and she's very uh, strategic and very like, you know, prissy. I love it. I love the actors in here. I love her manager, Alex Burstein. Oh my gosh, I just love her character. <laughs> she plays Maisel's manager and she's struggling with gambling, holding on to her apartment, just things that women go through. <laughs> she's very masculine oriented, very driven. Not the typical Chrissy cute wearing dresses kind of babe, but her femininity is still relevant. Her femininity is a very present and important aspect of the story because we have Mrs. Maisel who has to be made up and always looking very polished, extremely polished. And then you have this other character who's the opposite of Maisel's but is still representing womanhood. And I liked that play on lead and supporting characters or just like principal characters overall. I love it. I love to see it. I love her. I love her husband on screen. I love the the relationship between them. I love her drive and her willingness to never give up. I just love that storyline of woman taking on career and going for it. Love it. The next one I'm gonna be talking about is a Netflix series. Um, it's called Never Have I Ever. Mindy Kalen is the creator of this one. Brown high school sophomore who's just trying to be the coolest. We've heard the story before. I love it. Maybe because I'm a brown girl myself. It's just done in a way that yeah you get that teen insufferable kind of like not cool girl trying to be cool but it's done in a way where we kind of get a little bit of insight into that kind of a culture from the perspective of like a minority group in America because we're not minorities we're just minorities in this country. <laughs> I think the show is funny it's like a feel-good watch Watch. Oh, Netflix wants to show up itself. I like it because it's not heavy, but it deals with heavy things in a way that doesn't feel like it's too much. I like Debbie, who's the main character, and I like her interaction with her love interest in the story. The battle between both of them to like steal her heart even though it's not quite happening how it traditionally happens. Like the girl normally has to get all pretty and beautiful and get a makeover or whatever to like attract the most popular guy. It's done differently where the popular guy recognizes that he's more than just a face. He's more than just what he plays and now he's trying to be more and challenge himself academically to make himself feel worthy as well as to get into college. It's just a feel good one. You can't like not watch it. Just just watch it. It's good. I promise. I wouldn't lie to you. The next series that I'm going to be talking about is called Anne with an E. It is such a brilliant written and created series. It's very heartfelt and emotional and just a feel good like coming of age maturity. It's just like this orphan girl that gets adapted into this family who initially wanted to have a boy but ended up keeping her and she's kind of like struggling to adjust because she's so different and have experienced so much as an orphan in the orphanage and she just becomes very popular in the sense that everybody in the community knows her in her little tiny town and she kind of just changes people's worldviews. There's just something very spiritual about her. Just her connectedness to herself and how she tries to get back to herself whenever people try to tell her who she is. It's it's very inspirational and the friendship between her and her best friend is aspirational. I absolutely positively love this story and I love this series. It has been a pleasure to watch her. So I definitely recommend checking it out. It's really good on my blog. All these group of kids who live in the same neighborhood who are of different ethnic backgrounds and how they're trying to navigate high school 
life, relationships, and love, and maintain our friendships. There's so much drama and comedy surrounding this story. It's very emotional and witty, and there's romance in there. It's a really good series with just a little bit of intense community-based gore that you can probably handle like the realness of what minority communities like have to deal with seeing like the everyday life of like say a black girl or like a a cute little Mexican. I enjoyed that as well. It was good. This is editing Zadia and I don't know what overtook me because I never talked about my favorite show. My favorite show ever to binge watch on Netflix is Outlander. Oh my gosh, it's so spiritual. It's so romantic. It's so gory. It's this period film set in Scotland in the like 1800s. Not quite sure, but it's after a war. I'm not sure if it's World War One, World War Two. I'm not. Only sure. more important to remember is the War of Culloden. Anyways, it's like this historic period piece that deals with time traveling and love, and romance. It's a tragedy. It's comedy it's romantic it's cringy it, it's just so emotionally packed with so much goodness and the, the love story between jamie and claire is just iconic and i don't think there's a better romantic duo in history fuck romeo and juliet fuck jack and grace of the titanic this is the new romance couples of this modern time and the actors that star in this one is so good god it's well written well casted the actors have done an amazing job the reason why my hair is red is because of jamie okay that red-headed scottish boy that's why i did my hair red <laughs> he inspired me to change my hair color it's just like my favorite show on Netflix and I've seen all the seasons all the episodes and I can't wait for the final season there's a, a season that's about to drop early next year and I just can't wait and oh my gosh if you guys haven't seen Outlander check it out first of all also exciting part about it is that part of it is set in Jamaica and if you don't know already I am Jamaican born and raised it was exciting to see them like representing my culture and trust me the white witch of rose hall is a real thing back home in jamaica and this to give some context to where she came from and what she did and just her whole like backstory which is like amazing we hear these like stories and these like proverbs or whatever about the white witch of rose hall you know you never really like get to know exactly and then it's just like don't go to rose hall don't go to there's always like these ghost stories so it's just just like I got to get some context into that ideology and what like went on there and it was very amazing to see the same dance that was danced in Scotland being danced in Jamaica by Jamaicans and by African or African ancestry and that was very like enlightening for me because I'm like I said I'm born and raised Jamaican I know where Rose Hall is and we hear a lot of stories about Rose Hall growing up in Jamaica so it was a beautiful film for me I love the love story between Jamie and Claire and just like everything about it is just so good and I'm like a die-hard fan of this show okay I said what I said it's done it's done okay done bye yeah those are some of my favorite binge worthy series on Netflix Hulu and Amazon video I enjoyed them I would recommend them if you're looking for something to watch I would say try these ones out perhaps you will get recommended more material along those lines it was great having you here I didn't really have anything profoundly intellectual to stimulate your minds in this video. Honestly, this was a very last minute impromptu video because I have to upload today. And I was thinking about this video. I didn't really prepare much for it, but I'm glad that you watch it up to this point to hear what I just said. So, um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.